Hey guys, welcome to Unreal Labs. Today I'm going to do a video on three ways to map a network drive. Uh, the first method we're going to use is File Explorer. Then we'll use a net use command and then in the command line or using File Explorer. And then the third option, we're going to use PowerShell. So let me drink a little bit of coffee and let's jump right in here. All right, so I'm on a Windows 10 client it is joined to the domain uh, to a domain and we're going to open this pc or in the old days my computer and we're going to click on the computer button or ribbon and then we're going to go to map network drive and as you can see here we have a bunch of selections for the drive letter i'm just going to use y and then we'll click browse and then I, since I know the, the name of the server I want, we'll browse on the server and let's map the home share. And then we've got a couple options here, reconnect it, sign in, um, or we could use different credentials if we wanted. So if I wanted to actually connect as a different user. These look fine, so I'm gonna leave that alone and that way this will reconnect when I sign back in and I'll hit finish. And then it opens up uh, the share or the the drive letter and let's just have a folder test real quick in there uh, so now you'll see uh, Y has been mapped and it's to the home folder location and you can see the pathing here so let's do uh, let's do a different way in file explorer this is the way I usually do it's a lot quicker and doesn't require network discovery so network discovery is on for this so that's why I'm able to browse the network if I open network neighborhood uh, you'll see these computers that are out there sharing so I can click on on the computer uh, on the server and then I can right click and say map a network drive doing the same thing except I'm skipping that button there um, instead of actually coming up here to the ribbon and, and clicking on map network drive I'm just going to network neighborhood going to the server right clicking and and coming down to map a network drive um, the other way to use this file explorer is to just do two backslashes and then the server name or computer name uh, that you know of that the shares are on. So let me back that up. We'll go to this computer. Backslash server. Because that's the server name. And then you'll see the shares. And so then all you, I do is right click and map network drive. And so we can, let's do a different drive or different different share. and same options and we'll hit finish and we've got some files in there perfect so let me disconnect I'm going to disconnect these two if you highlight them you can just right click and say disconnect that'll disconnect those drives and we have a previous video of a batch file that automatically uh, maps the drive for us too I have that please go look at that if you if you want to have an automated drive mapping from the server but let's use the net use command so which is what we did last time but we put it in a batch file so we'll open up a command line and then we'll do net use and then I'm just going to type in a drive letter we can do e and then backslash backslash server backslash since we know this share name it's home and I'm going to say yes and the command completed successfully and if we go back to this pc we'll see that that share is now mapped to drive letter e uh, another cool trick we can do if we don't really care we just want to assign um, the next drive letter we can just put a star there instead of the drive letter um, And it'll choose the next available drive letter, which I think it works backwards. So let's try that with a different share. We'll do logs. And yeah, so it's moving, it's moving up. Or at least it's it's sensing that there's no drive letter there, I guess. But uh, I would imagine, uh, like you said, you could just keep on going. So that's a quick way of, of mapping drives if you don't want to find a free drive letter if you have a ton of drive maps. I don't recommend having a, a, a lot of network drive mapping. It can slow uh, 
the performance of your machine down if you if you do open this PC and it's out there searching, especially if servers are off and it can't connect, it's going to slow uh, this PC, the, the file explorer down. All right, so that one's done. We've done that method. So now we can do one through PowerShell. And this one I hardly ever do, but uh, unless I'm doing some kind of a script or something, but... Uh, Nope. Where's my search here? Looks like I don't have my search icon. There we go. So we'll type in PowerShell. And open a PowerShell window. And now we're going to use the following command that I'm going to type out here. So new drive name. And this is the drive letter. So we'll do uh, X. And then we'll do PS Provider. I'm going to hit Tab to fill that out. Hopefully it, it should fill that out. Maybe not. So this might, might be wrong. Let's see here. Let's see if my memory serves me right. Is it file? Yeah, file system. Root. And then the server. And we'll do home. And, and persist. So we want it to always stay. So we'll see. Oh. Well, I'm going to pause real quick. I guess new drive. I, I might have to import file system. Let me check real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I was being a doofus. I should have checked this before I did the video. But like I said, I don't really use the PowerShell too much uh, for, dra for mapping drives. But it's new PS drive, the name. And with the clue that something, the one clue I had that this was not correct uh was when i went to tab that out and, and it didn't tab either should have given me some command set there so um but anyways we ran the command so we can do the same command let me do y just to show you that and it's already being used so we'll use t all right so that map two drives, same location, but as you can see, X and T are available. Both both map to home. Uh, and then just to throw some cool things in, things I use quite a bit. If I wanna, if I'm already in the command line, then you can use PowerShell. Uh, I use these two commands quite a bit. So one is, especially if I don't know. Windows 7 sometimes didn't actually tell you that the share name on a map drive, so if you had to reconnect it, is net view and then the server or the workstation, and it'll list all the shares that are available to you on that on that box. The other one I use is net use, like we've already used it, but just typing in net use. Um, Oh, I disconnected everything real quick. So let me let me map this one again to T. Well, my PowerShell one is not doing good, but um, let's go back. So I just need to map the drive real quick. Let's go back. Oh, I lost connectivity. Must have been a glitch in my view. Or lab. Uh, let's map Z again, just so we have it. Um, and then if we do net use, it, it's going to list every... What, what I use it for is that it, it, it shows you the drive letters assigned to, but then it actually shows you, you know, the actual pathing to it. Um, so pretty handy command to have. Like I said, sorry about my PowerShell there. I'll have to go back through it. I figured I'd throw it in there, but like I said, I'm not. Uh, I don't use PowerShell for drive mapping. Um, you, you, most of the time, you're just using it for like UNC paths or something, um, universal naming convention paths to call a file or to do something in your script. I don't really ever map a drive with it, but. I thought it was cool. That was a cool tip. Just trying to find some ways of actually mapping a drive. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button or hit the like button. Let me know, or leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I try not to edit a lot of my goofball mistakes, just so you guys can see that you know things happen to everybody. So, and then how to kind of to work around them. So, if you want me to cut those? I can, but I I tend to like to leave those in. But I appreciate you guys watching the video today. Thanks again.